Ahoy there, landlubbers! Today we're going to be talking about a particular film that covers time in a unique way. So, stick with us through our intro and we're going to be going into some strange waters with you. Now the particular film we're talking about for you landlubbers today is The Lighthouse, and it's not for the faint of heart, but it does have a time-oriented bend. That's right, Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse is a throwback to classic cinema and myths surrounding the ancient sea. It's a psychological movie that has its audience members questioning reality throughout in a big way, and it masterfully incorporates themes of time to build tensions in its scenes. Keeping in accordance with the times, We'll do our best to avoid spoilers when talking about time-centric themes in The Lighthouse, but no promises. As it goes, time's not as linear as many would like it to be. Sanity is not as simple either. So thusly, we'd be setting sail into some dark waters. Seems like a pretty straightforward job for the story's protagonists to start. Spend four weeks at a lighthouse, manage the grounds, make sure no ships end up on the rocks, count the minutes, count the hours, count the days, and eventually you collect your wage. Well, that's what Ephraim Winslow, played by Robert Pattinson, and his supervisor Thomas Wake, played by Willem Dafoe, set themselves to do. Figuratively punching in for a job and watching the prior residents set sail, they begin settling in, preparing for long nights and hard manual labor. It's New England, late 19th century. Thomas is old and there to direct the young Ephraim on a job he's never pursued before. Audience members will see the tension between young and old Bill, clock swinging and ticking each night as Thomas breaks Ephraim out of his shell with maritime toasts. Everything seems at least manageable until nature begins to rumble. Performing some pretty questionable actions, Ephraim brings about a supposed curse that keeps both men trapped on their island home. Indeed, a storm maroons the men. Lines between friend and foe, Willem Dafoe, begin to blur. Nightmarish visions of tentacles and an obsession with the lighthouse light, which only Thomas, the Elder, is allowed to view under lock and key, send Ephraim further into madness. Thomas begins going mad in his own right, but who's to say where one begins and the other ends? This is where the lighthouse truly shines. It literally has brass clocks chiming and ringing against the howling of storms. There are conversations about the days and nights blurring together, just like the chiming and blurring of the characters' minds. When the tenure of the lighthouse's residence is up and they're left to their own devices, Ephraim literally punches a clock, signifying his break from linear time. No relief rings across the minds of Ephraim and Thomas as they battle one another across their senses of self and reality. Now the Brassworks clocks and maritime barometers are very indicative of the time that the lighthouse is set in. As well, the cinematography harkens back to a time in filmmaking where everything was shot in black and white, but its thrillers were anything but. Roger Eggers masterfully blends the illusions of time and sanity into a psychological opus that isn't for those wary of the searing depravity insanity can bring. Its Lovecraftian horror and ticking clocks will maybe bring those who view it to question their own minds. It's a perfect 19th century style gothic horror. So be warned, all ye horological film goers. Ye who enter its waters are in for asking more questions than what time is it? May ye weather the storm, should ye set sails to cinemas this fall. Keep an eye out for those nor'easters. Hold fast and have yourself a grand old time. Hats off to ye if you've already seen the film. Otherwise, keep an eye out for all the clocks that tick inside of the story. They actually have a pretty pivotal role in how the psychology of the characters plays out. And if you've seen the film or have any comments about it, put them down in the comments section. We'll be happy to talk about it. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.